Hey, what is up everyone? I am Demon Cringe, and today I want to talk to you about a pretty interesting and also pretty worrisome piece of news. So, Rugrats is going to be relaunched with a nice little movie on top, and I am not too happy about that. Now, I do know that I'm a little bit late on this news update, plus I haven't been uploading for like the last few days, but unfortunately I've had a lot of stuff to do recently and all that. Uh, so, it says that Nickelodeon and Paramount have announced that they will be relaunching Rugrats and have ordered 26 new episodes, oh my god. And if that's not enough folks, they have also okayed a live action movie with CGI characters. Now I actually have multiple things I want to say about this, first off I'm really not too keen on the whole bringing back the show because uh, yeah, um, today is the day of reboots and unfortunately We've seen a lot of classic shows that are, you know, uh, the people have tried to bring back and they have just, uh, they have just failed, you know, like the 2016 Powerpuff Girls reboot, uh, obviously we cannot forget about that one, but there is a tiny sliver of hope at the end of the tunnel because uh, the original show creators will be returning as executive producers and of course the show will be made in Burbank, California, but on the flip side, I am completely against the idea of the movie. You want to know why? Because if they really wanted to do another Rugrats movie, that would be totally fine, but as long as they stuck to the original you know, style of the, uh, you know, older Rugrats movies and all that. Like, I'm right now, uh, at the top of my head, I'm remembering, you know, like, the Rugrats in Paris when they went to Raptor Land and all that stuff. And, of course, there was a little bit of, you know, 3D animation mixed in there and all that, but it actually did look good, you know? It did look good and it wasn't, uh, like, a, like, a over the top and all that. There were basically just some small things here and there, and it really worked well, you know, the animation in those movies were, like, really good, and I really, really do not know how the hell uh, they're gonna be pulling off a live-action movie uh, with CGI characters. I mean, seriously, like, uh, CGI Rugrats, no thank you, honest. So, here's something that's also pretty interesting. So, the president of uh, Paramount Players, Brand Dobbins, uh, had this to say, quote, Now feels like the ideal time to reintroduce this iconic cast of characters to a whole new generation of young fans and also, quote, uh, kids who grew up with the Tommy Pickles and the Rugrats uh, crew will be able to share their experiences with their own children. It's pretty interesting to think about because, uh, obviously, people that have grown up with, uh, you know, these classic cartoons and all that stuff will obviously want to, you know their kids to experience that as well so they will like uh, you know sit, sit with them in front of the in front of the screen and watch it with them uh, that would be like really really awesome i do imagine myself if i ever have a kid you know i'm gonna be watching samurai jack with them and all that uh, not of course the final season until they're uh, a little bit older to say the least and all that but uh, yeah, it is pretty interesting to think about, uh, and uh, this is one of the reasons why people actually do like reboots, is because, uh, you know, the future younger generation will be able to experience them and all that, but uh, of course, uh, you know, today being the age of reboots, uh, obviously reboots aren't really in a good position, because more often than not, in this day and age, uh, instead of exposing an audience to an awesome show that a lot of people, you know, grew up with, they instead of... Uh, just to bring something back because they really don't have any original ideas and they just want to cash in on something, you know, they just want to cash in on nostalgia and uh, hyper-marketing uh, toys and blah blah blah, but, uh, you know, like I said, since the original creators are coming back, I do have some hopes for it, but I'm not really gonna hold my breath, honestly. And here's another pretty interesting thing, folks. Okay, so if the whole Rugrats coming back for another, you know, 26 episodes or whatever the hell they're gonna try to make, and of course the movie with CGI characters isn't enough, they're also bringing back Blue's Clues. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, another classic original series Nickelodeon is bringing back for today's generation of kids and families. Nickelodeon has produced an all-new Hey Arnold special in 2017 and has announced the return of two beloved titles the forthcoming specials, uh, Rocco's Modern Life and Invader Zim. Well folks, it looks like a lot of stuff is coming back and people are worried about it, and rightfully so, because whenever we hear about stuff like this coming back, uh, at first we're like, oh my god, it's gonna be so awesome, you know, uh, more uh, more of our favorite childhood shows, plus younger viewers and kids today are gonna be able to see all of these awesome things that we've grown up with and all that, but uh, later it turns out to be a huge phoned-in cash-in, uh, you know, to uh, just to cash in on people's nostalgia and they get cancelled as soon as the viewership drops by a slight margin and when the toys stop selling and blah 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 but uh, I do have some hope for it because like the article said the original creators are coming and uh, uh, the most important thing is, like, uh, I really don't know if this is confirmed, obviously it's not in the article, uh, which is why I'm still worried. I do hope that the corporation, Nickelodeon, will allow them full creative freedom, because if they do, then uh, we pretty much don't have to worry all that much. Because obviously, you know, full creative freedom, they they have the they have a say in uh, everything. 
and I just hope that it turns out that way. Just like, you know, with Warframe, you know, how a Chinese investor, uh, I really forgot what company is, but a lot, but some Chinese company bought a huge portion of a, a Digital Extremes, the developers of Warframe, but it looks like they're not interfering with the development of the game, which is uh, pretty awesome. So I really do hope that uh, the same thing happens with this. I really don't want any, any corporate involvement in the, uh, in the writing of this cartoon uh, that's the that's my only concern for it i really couldn't give a rat's ass about the movie and i know that some of you actually want my input on the whole blues clues thing um honestly folks i really wasn't that much of a fan of blues clues and i know that some of you might be thinking oh my god how can that happen and uh well uh if, yeah i don't know it, ne it never really caught my interest all that much so uh yeah i really can't say anything too much about that um, uh, my hopes for the cartoon lie in the whole uh, whether the creators have uh, full creative freedom. Uh, we all know what happened with the Pop of Girls reboot and the horrible, horrible shoveling in of uh, old dead memes and uh, just the uh, garbage toys. I just hope that this cartoon doesn't turn out to be like that. Uh, anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe. I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.